Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. I am currently in my well house, and we're going to hook up uh, this water line right down here. Uh, that we need is a one inch water line that we're connecting to this barb fitting right here. And that's what I specifically want to talk about is just the process of getting these things to push over these barb fittings because uh, it can be really a big challenge because of how stiff this pipe is. Now just want to talk about this pipe a little bit. If you're going to be installing a pipe for a well or a water line, um, I would highly recommend going with a better grade uh, pipe. So you can get like 100 PSI stuff and 150 PSI stuff and uh, going all the way up to what we've got here and probably even better than this, but this is kind of uh, as good as you'll ever need. This is a 1 inch HDPE 250 PSI uh, pipe and so this is definitely, you can see how thick the edges of it are right here. We've got, man it's not quite a quarter inch but it's pretty close to a quarter inch of wall thickness there. So high quality product but it is a lot stiffer than the cheaper stuff is. So it's going to work well but you have to work a little bit harder at getting it hooked up. So that's what we're going to do now. You want some hose clamps, these are used ones, but they're going to work just fine. And when you put these on here, uh, you want to put them, put one, you want to use two, always, and put them opposite directions like I have this here. So by putting them opposite ways like this, uh, what that does is when you tighten this down, it tends to like pull the material of the pipe towards the point where the um, tightening device is. And so put them on opposite sides and you're not going to create a crease along one edge. So get those slid on there so that those are ready to go. Don't want them to slide down into your hole though. <laughs> like I've got right here. So I'm just going to tighten this one down a little bit so it doesn't fall down into the trench. And then <clears throat> this is going to be your key tool right here. Just a little propane torch of some kind. I will link to uh, hose clamps and fitting and... Um, also a little torch down in the description. If you like general how-to videos like this, uh, take a minute and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos just like this one. Okay, here we go. So we're going to start warming up this tube real carefully and heat is going to be our best friend. Now one other thing I want to mention is that this adapter right here, it's a one inch barb by three quarter inch uh, male threads going to this valve here. Uh, but normally, I would rather have a brass uh, barb fitting, uh, but I don't have one available at the moment. So if you're choosing a barb fitting at the hardware store or whatever, I would highly recommend going with brass. Okay, here we go. This is a little bit better because it's not underground, especially for if you're putting a T or something in underground, you don't want that to be made of plastic. All right, here we go. Kill the mosquito. <laughs> Peel that back just a little bit here. And you can see how you can get pretty close to it with the flame. There's a lot of mosquitoes in here. I think it's the only place where there's mosquitoes that are still surviving yet. Got another one. Got another one. You don't want to stay on any one, one spot for very long, obviously. Now it's almost too hot to touch. I'm just about there. Woo. Sorry, the mosquitoes are distracting me here. Alright. We'll call that good there. You know what? Actually, I'm going to heat the rest of my tube here just a little bit. To give me a little more flexibility in the pipe itself. It's fairly cool outside today. 
and that makes it a little bit more of a challenge. Oh, see, that's a liquid burning. Okay. We'll push it down here. I don't know if you can see the mosquitoes on the camera or not, but... Okay. There we got it. You can see that now that we slid it on here, it's actually bulging out where the barb fitting is. And that's mostly because that's how much that had to expand around the barb fitting as we pushed it on there. The other thing that heating it does is it makes this, uh, when you tighten your hose clamps down, like we're going to do here in a second, I have to actually loosen it a little bit more to get up here, it uh, helps the pipe squeeze onto those barbs a lot nicer than it would have otherwise. I might have to get a 5 16 screwdriver and work these a little bit more. But you basically get these as tight as you can by hand, and that's about it. You don't want to strip them out because they will strip if you put too much pressure on them. So, there you have it. The pipe is now connected. Now I have to just go inside and connect the other end of it, and we'll be ready to move on. So, thanks so much for watching. If this helped you out, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe down below for more videos like this one. And we'll talk to you in the next video. Pretty cool well house, huh? There's the well casing coming up right there. This is an, I put a new submersible pump in here a while back. I still have a couple things to finish up. Um, but it's been working really well. Here's a new, no pun intended, here's a new uh, pressure tank that I put in as well. <sighs> no pun intended again. And there's a pressure switch that controls the well. Pressure gauge, check valve. Uh, this is a gate valve with a hole drilled in it to reduce my flow because uh, the flow was too much initially. Uh, coming out of the well, you want the pump to pump at a certain GPM so that it doesn't uh, over pump. And then relief valve, another pressure gauge, uh, just a boiler drain, that's what we call them anyway. And then that's what my temporary water is hooked up to right now. So, all right. Talk to you in the next video. See ya.